Hi, welcome back to Concierge CPA. I am Juliette. In this video, we're gonna talk about and define GAP. If you're watching this video, I assume you have heard of GAP before and are curious to know what it means when people mention GAP in accounting or in financial reporting. So let's go. GAP stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. And that's exactly what it is. A set of accounting standards that businesses use to prepare and present their financial statements. These principles have been developed by experts in the accounting industry and have been tested and refined over time. The Financial Accounting Standards Board, known as FASB, is responsible for setting these rules and standards. All publicly traded companies in the United States are required to follow the GAP when preparing their financial statements. If you are an accountant or an accounting student, understanding GAP helps you learn the wonderful world of accounting rules and understand the concepts behind all these valuable principles and guidelines on how to account for all types of transactions. But if you are an investor, understanding GAP is just as important. Knowing that companies follow a set of rules to record financial transactions and prepare financial statements provides you with confidence in your analysis, since you know you are comparing apples to apples. And that is exactly the purpose of GAP, to establish a common set of rules for consistency in financial reporting. This set of rules provides a framework for businesses to record and report their financial transactions. This framework includes guidelines for how to measure and report assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, and expenses. It also provides rules for how to report these items on financial statements, such as the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. Following GAP ensures that financial statements are accurate, consistent, and comparable across different companies. This is very important because investors, creditors, and other stakeholders use financial statements to make decisions about a company. If financial statements are not consistent or accurate, it can be difficult for users of these financial statements to make informed decisions. Without GAP, financial reporting would be chaotic, and investors would find it challenging to evaluate companies objectively. Let's say you're comparing two companies. Company A uses GAP for its financial reporting, while company B uses its own set of accounting rules. The problem here is clear. How do you compare their financial health accurately? You simply can't. GAP ensures consistency in financial reporting, making it easier to compare companies and assess their financial health. Let's consider revenue recognition, one of the key concepts of GAP. Company A recognizes its revenue immediately upon making a sale, while company B follows a different method and recognizes revenue over time. Without GAP, comparing these revenue figures would be like comparing apples to oranges. To simply define it, GAP allows users of financial information to easily compare financial statements of different companies. They ensure that the financial information presented is accurate, reliable, and consistent from year to year. But how does GAP accomplish all that? There are 10 key principles that guide GAP. These principles form the foundation of sound financial reporting practices. But before we go over those principles, I want to mention several key accounting concepts within GAP that must be followed when recording transactions. The first one is the accrual basis accounting. GAP requires companies to record revenue and expenses when they are earned or incurred, rather than when the cash is received or paid. This ensures that financial statements reflect the economic reality of a business, even if cash flows haven't occurred yet. The second principle is the cost principle. The historical cost principle states that assets should be recorded at their original cost when acquired. This principle ensures that financial statements reflect the actual cost incurred to acquire an asset rather than its current market value or fair value. It provides a reliable basis for valuing assets and measuring the company's financial position. The third very important principle is the matching principle. The matching principle requires expenses to be recorded in the same accounting period as the related revenue. This principle ensures that expenses are matched against the revenue they help to generate. By properly matching expenses and revenue, the financial statements provide a more accurate picture of the company's 
profitability. The fourth principle is the revenue recognition principle. The revenue recognition principle states that revenue should be recognized when it is earned and realizable. This means that revenue should be recorded when goods or services are delivered to customers and payment is reasonably assured. And the fifth principle is consistency concept. GAAP requires companies to apply consistent accounting methods from one period to another. This allows stakeholders to compare financial statements over time and make meaningful conclusions about a company's performance. So going back to the 10 key principles that guide GAAP. So here they are. The principle of regularity, adhering to GAAP as the standard. Principle of consistency, applying the same standards consistently over time. Principle of sincerity, providing an accurate and impartial depiction of a company's financial situation. Principle of performance of methods, using consistent procedures for financial reporting. Principle of non-compensation, reporting both negatives and positives transparently without expecting debt compensation. Principle of prudence, emphasizing fact-based financial data representation without speculation. Principle of continuity, assuming the business will continue to operate while valuing assets. Principle of curiosity, distributing entries across appropriate time periods. Principle of materiality, fully disclosing all financial data and accounting information in reports. And finally, the 10th principle, principle of utmost good faith, parties remaining honest in all transactions. And that is all about GAAP. Now you know the 10 key principles that guide GAAP and five of the most important accounting concepts. So that's all for today. I hope you now have a clear understanding of what GAAP is and how it helps maintain transparency and confidence in the financial markets. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.